And good evening, everyone, and you're listening to another episode of Deathmatch Russell Podcast. Tonight, we're going to have professional, professional re- pro wrestler Daniel Eads on the line, and we're going to talk about his career and much, much more, where he's been and where he's going to be headed, and Prodigy Pro Wrestling and much, much more. Let's get right into it, fans. Enjoy. Tune in right now. So tune in. Good evening, Daniel Eads, and how are you tonight, man? I'm doing good, David. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. It's, uh, what, Tuesday night? The snow is now melting. We had, like, an ice melt, you know? Like, it was just, like, ice, like, like an ice rink today. You know, so the sun. Well, I you can keep the snow where you are, and I'll stick to just a little bit of drizzling here and there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I don't do ice. I, I don't do that at all. No, you're not big on the uh, snow and all that. Uh, anything lower than sixty, I'm miserable. We'll put it that way. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? I was actually. The funny thing is, I always, I mean, I was born in North Dakota, so I guess I'm used to the cold, but, you know, I hear I'm on the East Coast, you know, like, I guess it's in my blood, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's weird for yeah. me, at least, because my, my legs don't get cold. Yeah. I, I always tell people that, because even right now, if, it's, if I'm leaving the gym, I'll be wearing my shorts regularly and it could be yeah. degrees outside I'm fine but my upper body no I have to have yeah. four or five layers on or I'm miserable yeah I'll be out in my shorts later you know like I am on right now I'll be outside it's, it's, it's cool out you know what I mean I'm so used to that plus I have my snowboarder you know so I'm used to, you know okay cool cool <laughs> I mean I hit up to Vermont you know that's like the closest really place to go or the Catskills New York you know yeah or, or Colorado here and there you know when I get a chance to go yeah. visit relatives out that way. <clears throat> but, so how you doing tonight? Pretty good? Oh, uh, yeah. It, it's been a, a crazy day in the real world. But yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Still pretty good. Good, good, good. Uh, <clears throat> trying to get a lot accomplished this year, both inside and outside of wrestling. And, yes. Um, it's just some days go pretty smooth, and other days it, your, your mind's just going all over the place. And I want to say congratulations to... Uh, Defeating and winning against Fred Yuda, Yuda, whatever Fred Yuda, whatever his name is, Yuda, Yada, you know. Oh, uh, uh, Yehi. Yes, Yehi. Yes, Fred Yehi. Yeah. Yes, congratulations on that victory. Thank you. I, uh, I that was a surprise. Not so much just the win, but um, right. More or less. Just being able to work him. I yeah. knew I was in the tournament, and mm-hmm. when they say cards are subject to change, cards are subject to change. Right. Uh, he was nowhere on the list promoted yeah. for that tournament right. in Georgia, and I show up, and mm-hmm. they're like, oh, hey, you're a good friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he yes. I'm like, I. I was starstruck a little, like, what? what? He, I, I had no idea. He's one of, he's pretty good top, you know, he's pretty good in the field. I know, I've seen a lot of his work on, like, YouTube and here, and, you know, I catch a lot of the stuff on, you know, on the internet. You can catch a lot, you know? Yeah. So, he's... Uh, I've, I've seen some of his stuff up close, being at his yeah. off shows and stuff, and mm-hmm. the, the dude's a workhorse. He's great yes. in the ring. Mm-hmm. I've seen him at Bandit, uh, yeah. Tyler Matrix, and he's He's an entertaining, mm-hmm. um, charismatic, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Uh, unorthodox, I guess you could put it that yes. way. An orthodox person. Yeah. And it, it works to his advantage. I mean, mm-hmm. I, the guy can stop anywhere and anything. 
yeah. at any time. And trust me, he, my back is still sore from I'm, wrestling him. I'm sure. Who who else was in the tournament besides you? Who, who I mean, who, you got be, um, you and him, you and him. Um. Well, or was it just the? Or was it just like uh, three or five guys, or two, two, like a handful? No, um, yeah, there was a couple guys that yeah. canceled, it looks like, because I know Jimmy Ray was supposed to be there. He was promoted to be there, but he, he wasn't. Oh, it's, um, oh yeah, because he's on Jimmy, uh, he's he's always, oh, Jimmy Rafe, that's an old one, man, Ring of Honor days, I remember him. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching Jimmy Rafe uh, yeah. on CMA when he was, you know, with, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Vance Archer or Lance Hoyt, that's, that's his regular name, Lance Hoyt. Yeah, Hoyce. yeah, yeah. I remember and seeing. I me- I grew up. You yeah. know. I, I mean. I would. I, I followed his career when he was like in ROH when I was young. I got to see him like two thousand two thousand six or so. I catched caught on to l- later ROH. You know. Yeah. So it was like awesome. Um, you know. Well, let's see. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to be mean, but there's a couple of guys there. I can't remember their names. Mm-hmm. Um, off no. The back of my head. Yeah. Uh, Effie was in the tournament. Okay. Name Effie. Mm-hmm. I, uh, Cameron Cade was in the tournament. Yeah. Uh, Brady Pierce was in the tournament. Okay, I heard his name. And, yep. <clears throat> I know. Yeah, and, and there was a couple other guys. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. No. I feel bad for doing that. That's all good. Uh, it's all good. You're just using your, you know, it's freelance. We don't care. <laughs> you know, we're just using our good off our heads. <laughs> I'm not, I got no notes in my hands. <laughs> Right. No. Well, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. It was my first time yeah. working for Bushido. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there was a couple guys there on the list that I recognized. Other guy, yeah. I didn't. And mm-hmm. then when you show up and there's two or three new guys, yeah, uh, in the lineup, it you know it's hard to keep track of everyone. It was my first time there, so I met. Mm-hmm. I mean, hell, twenty different people. Yeah, the first time and. Yeah. It's always cool. To, it, I know it's always awesome. To, you know, it's always cool to to meet new people. You know what I mean? And and see, right? You know, in the in the in the ring of business. You know, because like I've I've met like so many through the years. You know, like just being a fan. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot of people yeah. and outside the ring, even WWE guys too. You know, like I got two referees there. Mm-hmm. Actually, I got two referees actually. One's a wrestler. He's in NXT. He's uh, uh Eddie Orange. <clears throat> so. I keep up in Ref Bennett, you know? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You yeah. know? It's like, I still know people, and even Drake Younger, of course, you know? Yeah. I know, I, I met Drake Younger for the first time, yeah. right when he had like, basically gotten signed, and before he went up there, mm-hmm. he I got to see his uh, last match for IWA Mid-South. Yeah. Uh, and Jeffersonville, when I was still at the skater ring, I, I got to meet him. Because um, one of my mentors was kind of a mentor to him, a guy named Walter Barron. Okay. He booked Drake a lot. Uh, yeah. I was. Yeah, I was going to say. Years. I was going to say who was who trained you, but now you're telling me, so that's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. And yeah, it was cool meeting yeah. him and seeing him perform in person. Because I know when I first broke into business. Yeah. Uh, my uh, buddies gave me a bunch of PWG DVDs. Yes. To, Watching Pro, kind of that that promotion is so like awesome, man. Like it's like one of the best on the you know the California scene of wrestling, you know. And, well, and yeah, and that's uh, they're one of the promotions for me. Yeah, you know, I I try to be a professional, mm-hmm. and for me, that's a promotion I can watch as a fan. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's, and a lot of my friends have been, you know, a lot of my friends like Joey Janela, like you've probably heard all these mm-hmm. indie names, you know, they're they've been there, you know. Tornado, yeah. you know, Tornado, everybody. Joey Ryan, you know, like all these guys. We would all know them, you know? Yeah. But it's a really cool uh, cool platform, though. Really cool platform for, the, you know, the, all the guys to wrestle on, you know? <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, I hope one day, it, it, depending yeah. on how things fall into play, even if it's just for one time, right. I would love to be able to say I wrestle for them just because yeah. they are, at least on the independent scene, Mm-hmm. They are such a recognizable company. Yeah. And it, it, that's kind of like that that major stamp under your name, like, hey, yeah. this dude's legit. Yes, and you, and I and you are. I've I've watched your work on YouTube and and some really awesome matches there. You know, you got you got what it takes. You know. 
Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, that. I always hate when people say, "Hey, I watch your stuff on YouTube." Cause, but uh, yeah, you know, we, you're, you're always your biggest critic. And, yes. Yeah, you know, there's some matches where I'm like, "Hey, I look in great shape," but that's not that great of a match. No, 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 no. no. Like, yeah. But then I'll go out and then sure. I'll then I'll purchase a DVD maybe in a couple of weeks or so. You know, I'll get some really yeah. fun, watch the good stuff. You know, really watch closer and you know, you'd be like, yes, I enjoy it. You know, I'm a big DVD fan, man. <laughs> I have more. <laughs> I think we all are. You know, when you can get it for free or yeah. buy it, it's like all right, your collection grows and grows and grows. <laughs> but so, yeah. do, so um, would, would you ever like to come out to the East Coast? <clears throat> Oh, I would, I would love to. I mean, I'm, I'm at a point now where, you know, yes. I want to get my name out further mm -hmm. and um, for m more companies, yes. uh, hopefully bigger companies, but I, I want my name to reach out there mm -hmm. and not just so much by hearsay, but like yes. by legitimate, hey, he's going to be here this week and come see him. You know, I, I want yes. Daniel Lee to be a household name. Right. Nation, that, that nationwide, eventually worldwide. Yes. It, it's yep. cool because some of the companies I've worked for have given me the ability to get my name out there, but mm -hmm. still, I'd rather yes. uh, Go. work there than just mm -hmm. something. Because I know there for a while when I was working for OVW, Ohio Bell Wrestling, out of Louisville, yes. you know, they, uh, they, they're very professional, mm -hmm. they, you know, solid company. A little behind with you know, today's independent wrestling, but they yeah. still have a big following. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I would have people hitting me up from the UK because they can watch OVW. I had right. Uh, I used to be a first trainer, and I had a client who traveled the country for oh, his cool. job, went down to Texas. Yeah, and he was wearing one of my one of my shirts. Yeah, and a guy came up to him and he was like, "Oh, you're a Dana Leach fan?" And he's like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, so, yeah, that's Dana Leach. Dead one, right? And he's like. Well, yeah, but actually, he used to be my personal trainer, and I had <laughs> never wrestled in Texas before. But this yeah. guy yeah. at a gym knew exactly who I was. That's so cool. By my shirt, yeah, and yeah, that was one of the coolest feelings ever. Right, right, yeah, just to see who it is, and then. But yeah, you know what? There's a lot of talent. You know, you, I, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm sure you heard of On Point Wrestling. I can put my name and put your name in that hat. There's a couple. Of, oh, I, would love, I mean, anything and everything. I'm G at the point now. GCW, I mean, GCW, Game Changer Wrestling is a real hot company on the East Coast. You know. Yeah, I, I've heard about them a lot lately, especially through um, mm -hmm. John Wayne Murdoch and Reed Bentley, because they're their current tag team champs. Yes, and um, good friends and, of mine. Yeah, just, uh, two, two of my friends. Yeah, two uh, good. Real, Two great guys. I I'm friends with them, so really, yeah, they really came a long way after to win those. You know. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, and um, you know, I follow them. We're friends on Facebook and yes. stuff. And now I see them posting stuff about it, and then because of them, I'm seeing all these other posts now. Like, oh hey, hey, that's somewhere. Yeah. I'd consider giving a shot sometime. Sure. And, sure. I mean, I'm open to just about anything mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah, yeah, and you're. Uh, <clears throat> That's awesome. Especially, especially come like this summer. I mean, I'm kind of yeah limited right now. Um, yeah, I, I got the ability to go back to school. Yes, until May. Yeah, and yeah. Once basically once that's done, I'm open to anything and everything. Oh, that's Except awesome. Something that happens. Yeah. Beforehand, but yeah, it's trying to juggle real life and exactly. Life. It's hard, man. And you know, you're a family guy, right? You have family. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I know. How to, you I know. Got a, yeah. I got a baby girl on the way in mm -hmm. April. And oh, congrats! It, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of things to juggle. Yes. But, yeah. Uh, I know. My little. I think I just heard my parents just mention uh, happy birthday to my little nephew. He's three years old today. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I know. I've got my. Go ahead. My, my firstborn turned four.